This is Danny Flexen here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by Saul Sanchez, making his Seconds Out debut here um, ahead of a headline fight on Showbox on Friday night. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Glad to hear it. Uh, Big fight. Um, You're no stranger to Showbox, of course. You've been on there a number of times. And and in fact, you're on a, a good winning streak at the moment. Just tell us what you can about your rival um, on Friday, the unbeaten Jericho O'Quinn. Um, I'm I'm ready for his coming to fight. I'm fully um confident. Um, I, I was already in, in shape coming into my this training camp. I was helping um Carlos Castro in his upcoming fight on his fight on the undercard of Pacquiao. So, so I was already in shape before I started my uh my my training camp for this fight. So I'm fully confident coming into this. And what do you make of O'Quinn? What what do you make of his style? And how do you think you guys' styles will match up? I think it's just gonna be a it's gonna be a action fight because I, I see like he he likes to stay in there a, a bit. So and I obviously like I like to go heads up too, but I gotta be I gotta I gotta be smart in there. I gotta be smart and Offense, defense, that's what I believe. So I think it's going to be, everyone's going to enjoy it. So I can't wait. He's made some interesting comments. I was looking at the uh, press release earlier and he said he doesn't know much about you, but he knows you're not on his level, which seems a bit strange because he doesn't know much about you. So how does he know you're not on his level? However, what do you make of his comments? Then he obviously does know about me if he knows I'm in the, <laughs> in the top eight. I'm I'm number eight in the WBA, mm. and number twelve in the WBO. So I'm sure he knows a lot about me. He just he just talking a lot. <laughs> and you've been um, very active. I think you fought four yeah. times since he last was in the ring. He was well ranked, of course, before his inactivity. How much do you think that will play a part? Not just activity, but momentum, because you've been getting some good wins under your belt. But I believe he he hasn't fought more than a year, right? Yeah, yeah. So I think you know, and I I've been active. I've been I had three fights, no, two fights by the first round knockout. So it, that was in Florida on Telemundo. So I, I'm I'm really confident in this fight. And I know it's, oh, sorry, it's a big step up for me, but like you said, like I've been active and um like I'm ready. Like I'm I'm really I'm really I'm ready. So. And you're trained by Manny Robles, is that right? Robles, yes, I know. Very well-renowned um, trainer. Just tell us about your relationship. How, how do you guys get on in the gym? What's it like? I was, it's hard training, you know. It's it's always been hard. I I was with him since I was 18 years old. Oh. So so it's just once we hear that fight date coming, um, we were we're focused. We're really focused, and it's always hard training. No playing around or nothing, none of that. And talking about that, you've been with him for such a long time. Tell us how you first got into the sport. All right, I started when I was eight years old. My my brother, he started before me, Emilio Sanchez. Emiliano, yeah. Yeah, he was like, I, I believe, 13 or 12 years old. And like, I wanted to box too, but I was like, I was like seven. So I waited one more year. I, I watched him. Um, like a whole year of training like I was in the gym with him but I was just sitting down and watching him because they didn't let me so once I hit eight years old um they they I, I joined and then I, I was real good at it because I, I was just real good at it <laughs> it was it came natural because I was I was always watch my brother how he would do so yeah that's how I started and who were the kind of guys that you looked up to, apart from your brother, of course, but boxers that you watched when you were younger that you either influenced your style or that you liked to watch? Who did you like as a, as a kid? Oh, I would, I would like Miguel Cotto. Yeah. yeah. He was my favorite fighter. Miguel Cotto and Marcus. Uh, what was it about those guys that you especially liked? Miguel Cotto was always like, I would like his body shots to the body, like the... And his going forward pressuring, that's what I like. 
And what about Marquez, a slightly different type of fighter, <laughs> equally a warrior, but, but maybe more of a uh, counter puncher? Yeah, the counter puncher and, the, and the, the way he put his punches together, the combinations. So that, that's what I like about him. And you've only um, had the one defeat on your record. It was a split decision, very close fight. What did you learn from that? Yeah, I had a, a split decision. Um, I was in 2019, I believe. Yeah. But you know, it was a, it was a, it was a close fight. It was a, a split decision. Um, I, I look back to the fight. I thought I, I put it off. Like during the fight, I can't, I can't say like I won because like I don't know what's going on. Like I'm in there just to do my job, but I look back to it and I, I thought I, I had put it off, but it is what it is. Um, after that fight, I just continued to work hard and, and I'm like I'm here now, on Showtime. Ready. And you're already, as you said earlier, number eight with the WBA. Um, he was world rated, um, Jericho before his period of inactivity, and he's still unbeaten. What would a victory over him on a big stage like Showbox do for your career? Where would it put you? If I well, when when I beat him, I think it's gonna put you know, put me more up there. You know, I'm I'm ranked number in WBA like number eight. So after beating this guy, um, I think uh, maybe a, a title shot next year, hopefully. So. Is I'll there any particular champion out of the main uh, four? <laughs> at the moment that you're you're targeting? I say main four, Noye Inoue has obviously got more than one belt, but is there, is there one champion in particular you want to fight? I like the the Filipino fighter, WBO. The WBO. Oh, yeah, we both like, we both like fighting, so. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll be a war. There's been a lot of talk recently about him potentially fighting against Nanito Denaire, who's got the WBC title. And I think there's been Kind of talk on both sides, maybe one's avoiding the other. What have you been aware of that? And what, what do you make of all that? Between those two fighters? Yeah. Man, I mean, they both like to fight, that's for sure, but it'll be a good fight. I don't know who who would win or none of that. How do you but, feel about being in such an exciting division? You know, the champions alone. You mentioned Casimero, you've got Denaire, and you've got obviously Noya Inoue as well. Just very, very exciting weight class. Yeah, yeah. What what was the question? I'm sorry. Just how do you feel about being part of such an exciting division, exciting weight class? Oh, um, it's it's a it's exciting, you know. Uh, freaking, I'm up, I'm almost up there. I'm almost up there. I just need to get get to the. I need to take it fight by fight. I need to get past this guy. He's just in my way of, of fighting for a world title. So, I just need to beat him, beat him, and then yeah, we'll take it from there. And for people that haven't watched you before and are thinking about tuning in on Friday, how would you describe your style? What what can fans expect? Uh, action fight. I like, I like going forward a lot and throwing a lot of punches. <laughs> so uh, I, I'm never boring in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sold. <laughs> but just before I let you go, just tell people out there how they can find you on social media so they can know a bit more about you. Um, on Instagram and, and Twitter, you can follow me on Saul A.D. Sanchez. Yeah. Excellent. And on Facebook, Saul Sanchez. <laughs> Brilliant. Really, really appreciate your time. Uh, look forward to watching the fight on Friday on Showbox. And uh, very best of luck.